a review of the best chore, chore exercises I could find. Small hint, it's this one. So, first of all, a small introduction to the whole topic of mewing and also exercising your jaw. So, the thing is this, if you your jaw is kind of uh, just bones and then it's connected with muscles to the actual top of your face, because you can actually kind of, if you ever noticed, you can actually move your jaw. So this means there are actually muscles all over your face that are also kind of responsible for you looking happy or sad or raising your eyebrows. So therefore your whole face is kind of covered in muscles. And also there are two very big muscles, kind of the masseta muscles, kind of the biceps of the face, you could say. And these masseta muscles pretty much open and close your jaw. I actually don't know if the masseta muscles also open your jaw. I actually don't know. The thing is just if you close your jaw and actually just like the biceps closing and then the masseta muscles work. So here is the thing now. At a certain given level of body fat percentage, the more, the bigger the masseta muscle is, the more you have basically just like sticky things sticking out of your face. And now if you have a given surface, if you have a given a fixed amount of body fat on your face, then the more these stick out, just like a tent, I just I could just use a sheet of paper, maybe, or I just get something. Yeah, just a normal bag. So here's the thing. Let's imagine this is your face, and there's a little bit of, and then you obviously can put water in there, and that's the body fat. Now the thing is, if you then work out your masseter muscles at the side of the face, it just means that it basically moves it up so it moves it out and if it moves it out then it kind of increases the surface area of the face therefore the fixed amount of body fat is kind of spread on a bigger surface area therefore per area is just less dense this means by working out your masseter muscles on also the rest of the muscles of your face you actually can appear leaner as you actually are and this is kind of a nice thing so for example me i'm not quite as lean at least not as i used to in the past but still, I don't look completely shitty. I mean, that's discussable, but nevertheless, um, that's kind of responsible. So there are a lot of people who have kind of a very round face and there are people that have like, so one of the, one of the key things you can actually look out for is, so there's, there's all these two bones on the side of your head. And actually, if you draw a straight line down, then most people, have like either a straight line down and if you work out the masseta muscles to a huge extent it actually gets like even wider than this and if you don't work out your masseta muscles then the body fat on your face then these things here are just gone and your face just appears more round this means that the, and also if you have these things on the side of your face what actually happens is that they kind of draw shadows on the side of your face especially if you have a light on top of you could actually use a light on top of me yeah i just have my phone and i just show you the effect real quick oh it's actually pretty drained in battery and i don't have another oh i have another light i just get it real quick so here explaining the effect again so using a headlight if you now have draw want to draw shadows on your face the, as you can see here the side of your face is basically cut off and this basically lets the face appear more slim the, it means also the more worked out the masseter muscles are, the more slim your face appears also due to the shadows and the light that just hits your face from different angles. So now it kind of makes sense to, for one, mew. So what is mewing? Mewing is basically a process that takes a very long time. It's basically correct tongue posture, just as there is something like correct body posture and also correct head posture. There's also something called correct tongue posture. So what happens with many people is that they have the tongue. Help me here. And also if you swallow, the right way to swallow, if this is the roof of your mouth and that's kind of your tongue, then the right way to swallow is, and this is the right way. What many people do is they just press their tongue out and then it just goes somewhere. You just have to try it for, out on your, on your own. And also there are, there's somebody on YouTube called Dr. Mew Called, the channel is called Autotrophics, and actually, if you want to dive into the topic further, I would recommend this channel. So now, first a big disclaimer. The thing is, just like working out any muscles, if you work it out 
too much. And also, for example, if you just worked out one biceps in one arm, or if you just worked out your pecs all the time, the problem is that these muscles pretty much would um, draw your whole body into a position where you are just like this then all the time. A hunched over position because you don't work out your back. And just like this, you have to have this in mind if you just work out a single muscle group, just like the masseta muscles in your face. It's something that's very risky. And therefore, just doing it and until everything hurts just is not a very helpful thing. Also, there are different things that can happen. For example, if you work out your biceps or if you work out your legs or if you work out your arms, if the tendons, for example, aren't strong enough and the ligaments aren't strong enough because you just don't usually train. Also, if you start running and you don't usually run or you haven't run in the past, then if you just start, the damage will just go onto, onto your ankles and onto your knees and basically on all of the different bones and the connections of the bones in your body because they just absorb the energy. And therefore, just keep all of these different things in mind when now reviewing the different things I did. So, first of all, I kind of knew about this effect chewing had. So basically, if you chew food, then it works out your face. I mean, it's pretty obvious, one could say. So therefore, I kind of knew this from a very very early stage in life on apart from so i didn't even know about mewing and stuff like this nevertheless i just chew a lot of gum because i noticed that my face got just wider and basically if i also take a look at old pictures and also yeah just i just continue with the story if i take a look at old pictures it almost looks like there's a shield so my face almost always look kind of like a shield and also kind of um thing you can so apart from the side of your face just drawing a, so you can also use your hands and if then your masseter muscles stick out kind of it also i mean there is a bone underneath and there's a skull underneath and obviously you cannot really change these you kind of maybe can but that's not not really scientifically proven because the thing is with mewing if you so now about neutral tongue position if the neutral tongue position is just that the, the tongue is in the middle of your mouth and kind of also at the top of your mouth this is called like this is not even called mewing, but mewing is actually kind of slightly pressing it on the roof of your mouth. So, kind of like this. So you just get the tongue together and then just put it on top, kind of. You can also spread the tongue, but you just want to get it together because it's a muscle you can. You actually have kind of to train this. And then just put it on the top of your mouth. This is kind of normal mewing. There's also something called hard mewing, which is basically just pressing it, just like a workout, just pressing the tongue on the top of your mouth and then releasing it again, like... I mean, I just made like random facial um, reactions to actually because you don't see it, as you have noticed. So now, this is the one part of the story. The other part is to actually like really work out. Just like with posture, you can do exercises to better your posture. For example, rowing will actually work out the muscles on your back. And therefore, in the long term, it will just do good for the posture. But you can also just better your posture or improve your posture just by standing up real quick. But this is obviously not something that's very long term. So therefore, you can basically exclusively um, also exercise your jaw muscles by chewing something extensively or by heart mewing. But let's just take a look at chewing something. First step would obviously be to just chew your food properly. I myself included, if I don't pay attention, I bite like a few times on the food and then I just swallow it. What actually should be happening is that you just break down the food into a very small unit until it's basically like like porridge, like very small, grainy, not grainy porridge, and then you just swallow it. This is also in terms of nutrition and how long it actually, it actually takes your body to digest the nutrients and also just to get the nutrients. If you, for example, eat a carrot but you don't chew it properly, then the body has kind of no way to really break those, uh, those plant cells plant cells, those wedgie cells, because they are kind of hard because they are made out of cellulose or cellulose, depending on how you pronounce it actually. So now let's get actually into chewing. This is what I wanted to talk about, but I had to talk about all of these things before because otherwise the context would not just not be there. And I just don't want to put out a random video where I'm like, yeah, just chew on this like three hours a day. And then you probably have clicking noises whenever you do something like this. It's actually something to look out for if you 
do this and it clicks all the time, then it's not good. So now, I did a lot of extensive gum chewing and I also read already about the, the harder the gum, obviously, the harder the workout. So therefore, what you can do is you just take normal gum and you just take multiple gums, basically, gum stripes, and you just put them in your mouth and chew them for like a few hours. And it's like a very light workout. It's like walking compared to running. But what you also can do is just running. And when it comes to efficiency, also running is much more efficient. This is also the reason you usually do like 15 reps, depending on what you want to achieve. But if you want to achieve muscle growth, what you actually want in your face, then anywhere from 8 to 12 reps is usually when it comes to uh, just increasing the, the size of your muscles is kind of the best thing to do. So now, that at least that's what kind of the current science says and the podcast talking about the science I listen to. So now... Chewing gum. There is also there are also specific gum variants that actually are harder. What you also can do is how hard the gum is is actually kind of a function of how much water is in the gum and also yeah well how dried out the gum is. Therefore, I mean it sounds a little bit gross, but if you chew gum and then you just leave it a few hours and then actually the the water will just um, go into the air and therefore it just will get harder. Therefore, uh, you can just take normal gum, let it dry. It doesn't work, for example, to put it in the microwave or onto an oven because an oven because it then would just get very, very um, rubberish and you just don't want to have it in a consistency like this because you cannot get it off anything ever again. So now, chewing gum is kind of the, the standard thing you can do. This is what I did in the past, but then I just wanted to try it out even more. And also I noticed, especially when recording videos, that it just did huge things. Even here's the thing about working out in general. What you can do to just quickly improve the appearance of your muscles is just to get a pump. A pump is to work out your muscles and to just have blood in the muscles. So this means if you work out a muscle, actually the distribution of blood in your body will change in a way that your muscles, for example, are just fuller. This means whenever you see somebody on a cover of a magazine, what they did is and they look very pumped, that's because they are. And the same is true for recording video. So what you can do, not for recording video, but for the face, obviously. So if you just ate like 20 carrots, then it will just look better if you chew them properly or chew them properly because you have basically just a face workout. Now, here's the thing. I mean, there is also Hollywood and people getting face implants, but that's just like dumb because you can actually also work out the muscles and do not do any damage to your body whatsoever. So I actually try different things because you just need something that's rubberish and there are just uh, almost are no things out there. So what I tried in the beginning is I had just something that's made out of rubber and was like very flat and I just put it in my mouth and then I just all the time. It was like the first iteration. Then what I actually found is something like this, so it was kind of a tire, not really a tire, but something similar to it, and I just cut it into pieces. The thing is, about rubber, and also about plastic, you just don't want to have it in your body. And also, if you just chew it all the time, you just want to make sure, I mean, it's already with plastic bottles, and I mean, there is the whole discussion about these things, but if you then put just random bike rubber into your mouth, it's not very helpful. I mean, I tried it, I tried to not have saliva on it, but nevertheless, it's just dumb. I guess. Nevertheless, I did it because I just didn't have something else. I already ordered something called, um, these were called like chore exercises from Amazon. And I actually had these and I actually had like three pairs of these, but after a quite, after like two weeks, they broke and I actually get them replaced, but then they broke again. So therefore this was not a very hardcore solution, not a hardcore, but a long-term solution. And also, these were just very, very soft. So these were basically small kind of things with holes in them. Uh, this, these are basically the standard things you get when you go on Amazon. They don't work. They break. At least if you do them, if you work out things properly. Also, the problem is that since they don't, these are basically kind of two small things you can put in your back teeth or somewhere else. The problem is if they go out during, during the exercise, you just hit you hit your teeth together like very hard that's not very nice for the teeth so i looked into different solutions there were like things that look like lego bricks also not very practical 
until I finally found this one. This is basically a thing that is just like a splint that just goes into the area between your teeth. And now, as you already saw, and I just get it, uh, I just have something like a uh, paper, a tissue, and I just clean it off again because, I mean, I will put it in the mouth a few times more. Nevertheless, um, here are the things. These basically go into your molders, or molders, the name for the back teeth. I just know them, I just don't quite know if that's the right name. But that's a little bit thicker, but nevertheless, there's also a kind of a protection in the front. So therefore, if these kind of get out, you just don't hit your teeth together, and this would obviously cause damage. So now, there are three different versions. I got the black version because I am already quite used to chewing things, therefore, and already my masseter muscles are kind of built out already. And so, when it comes to recording videos, what you can do is, you just put it in your mouth, and you just get a pump, basically, and then you will just look more lean. The thing is, I also, so I had like a time where I first realized this about the masseter muscles and then I just looked all, at all of my old pictures and also what, so another criteria for example what you can actually use to determine how well worked out someone's masseter muscles are is to just look at the proportion between the mouth and the overall wideness of the face. The more worked out the masseter muscles are, the smaller the mouth will appear. So if you see people that have like a very small mouth, it appears to be that they have, then they just have a very wide face due to the worked out masseter muscles. Basically, this is all over Hollywood. Why? Because it just improves how well, how nice you look. It also improves the symmetry of your face and it also just makes you look more lean. So therefore, it just makes sense because there's the halo effect. Did I already talk about the halo effect? No, it was a different video. So the halo effect is the effect that if you have one characteristic, so one thing you have or do that is like that stands out very much, that kind of overshadows all the other things you do or say or have. This means if you, for example, are very attractive, if you are very intelligent, then these things will positively influence the perception of, of other people's perception of you doing and saying these other things as well. So this can go in a positive direction, also in a negative direction. If you, for example, know somebody is a criminal, then this will probably influence all these things negatively. If you, on the other hand, have someone that is very attractive, obviously on a subconscious level, also due to evolution, and also using beauty and attra attractivity in order to kind of indicate how healthy a person is, but there are different theories about attraction and beauty out there. Now, the thing is this, if you can improve your attraction, not your attraction, but your attractivity, or how nice you look a little bit by, for example, bleaching your teeth or also by working out your masseter muscles, this will kind of influence all other areas of your life kind of positively. Because if you then apply for a job, then it is more likely that not that so due to the halo effect, it is more likely that you actually get the job because you just are viewed as more intelligent if you say the exact same fixed things as if you are less attractive. This obviously goes for a lot of other things, but for example, fixing your nutrition into something that works and keeps you lean long term and also keeps you nourished with all the right nutrients, all the right nutrients in today's environment is something that is probably not the easiest thing, at least for many people. That's why a huge portion of the population on this earth is now considered obese. And therefore, a very quick fix is just working out these muscles. You already can see a difference after like like one minute of hard, hard chewing on these things, you can already see a difference. This also can be a very good hack if you have like a lot of water weight in your face because there are like the regulation of water in your body under your skin is kind of due to different factors like like potassium for example. Nevertheless, if you have a situation like this and you want to get rid of quickly, I mean you obviously also can go for very simple carbs that actually flush out the water, but this also kind of dries out you dries you out and actually leaves you probably more watery in the end. Nevertheless. If you just pump up your masseter muscles, you will just look a little bit better when recording video, for example, and that's just a very nice hack. I, it's not that I use it all the time, but whenever I remember, I, I just, uh, so I clicked on the stop button and I don't know what was recorded. So this is kind of the end of the video now. 
it's a very nice way to basically improve how you look, whether it is before somebody, before a photo shoot, whether it is before a date, or just in general. Long term, you obviously want to work out these muscles and you just don't want to overwork out them. Also, keep attention or pay attention to the different side effects this might have, because if you are not used to chewing things, then, well, you need to get used to chewing things. And also your muscles and tendons need to get used to chewing things because it's basically a workout. That's what it is. And that that is also why it helps you probably in the long term. It is a long term project. And even more long term and even more beneficial is concentrating on mewing because that's basically also the variant of working out your face that doesn't require anything at all. So if you chew your food properly and in the end game, and also if you have proper tongue posture and you also you can do just hard mewing all the time just by randomly sitting somewhere and then just pressing the tongue against the top of your mouth that's basically without any tools like a jaw exerciser like this i will link this exerciser in the in the description or in the comments somewhere and well i hope i could help you don't do anything um don't overwork out your muscles and that's basically the end of the video